<laughs> Good morning, guys. Crane Hot Springs in Oregon. I did not know this existed till a few days ago. Hey, Major Moxie here, just left the coast, heading straight through the center of Oregon, off to the desert. Oh my gosh, that seriously does not look good. Just pulling into Sisters, Oregon. This is a very posh, touristy town. It's three hours away from Newport. 150 miles I just drove. Gotta keep going a few more miles to my next destination. The only thing I know about sisters is that my dental hygienist sister has a business right here downtown and she was trying to talk her into retiring and coming up and running another shop because it's so lucrative up here. I wonder what shop is hers. This is my first time out here in Central Oregon. It looks just like Central Nevada. Flat, desert, sagebrush, tan color everywhere. I've never returned from Oregon coast coming down this way through Oregon, but I found this hot springs and I have to come here. It'll be my first time. I think that's it right there. Crane Hot Springs, formerly known Crystal Hot Springs, right outside Burns, Oregon. Oh, I've never been here. There's so many accommodations from RVs to cabins to teepees to the inn to dry camping. Oh, I'm so glad I found this place. This is going to be fabulous. I think the animals at resorts that I find seem to be the most relaxed and happy. How could you not be happy living here? It's beautiful. I'm not sure what you, uh, what you put. Oh, there you go. Pinecone Suite. I was lucky to book this. It was the last available room at the inn or even on the property other than dry camping. Oh, this is gorgeous in here. Oh, you can put your shoes here. Nice. It is so clean in here. I'm in no hurry to just fold those sheets down out of my germaphobe. Oh, it smells Beautiful. Fresh in here and clean. Pinecone sweet. Oh, I like it. And out back. Your own private patio with the trough to soak in. Oh, that's going to come in handy later tonight. Oh, that hot springs pond is calling my name. I don't think this room is going to see much of me tonight. They have oh, showers okay. and changing rooms right across from the office from any day use or campers or RVers or anyone who needs a shower. This is a natural pond. Pond temperature is controlled by Mother Nature. Pond may exceed 100 degrees. Ninety-five degree cool down temp. That's not bad. One o three near the source. Oh, now we're talking soaking temp. Oh, I gotta get in this water. 
overflow ponds filled with so many birds. Oh, there I can hear them chirping out there. I cannot believe I've never heard of Crane Hot Springs. It used to be called Crystal Hot Springs. It's in the book. I cannot believe I've never been here. I'm upset about all the years that I've missed out. Because I'm going to return. This place is too beautiful not to come back. Photos cannot do this natural pond, partially man-made justice. There's so much space, so many people in here, but you're never even near anybody. Crane Hot Springs in Oregon. I did not know this existed till two days ago. It is gorgeous property. I'm glad I found this. It's a hot, hot springs. Oh, this reminds me of the hammer at Carson Hot Springs. Make sure you bring your noodles. Noodles only at the pond. If not, they've got them in the gift shop for you to purchase. No inner tubes. I saw the kids over here playing. It looks like the place to be at 85 degrees. Oh, it's perfect cool down over here. The only water on the property is hot springs water. They have to cool down any cold water on this property. It goes through showers and through some tanks before it gets into the cabins and into the ponds. I love the mix between all the cement work and man-made ponds and pools and the natural pond down below. This property is stunning. Oh, we are hungry. It's time for dinner. We will come back tonight and enjoy this fire. And this pond, it's 24 hours. You could swim whenever you want to. This 
celebrating their 25th anniversary with customer appreciation on the 25th. Commons room open 24 hours. Coffee. This place is so accommodating. And there's a map on the wall with everyone's little pins in it from where they've traveled from. After being stuck in your RV or your tent, I'm sure it's nice to sit on a sofa in here away from your family and hide out. Good morning, sunshine. Yes, I'm going to in Turkey. I'll meet you at the pond. The sun's up, it's inviting. Sorry, Paul. When I travel, I am usually the first one up. I'm around properties and no one is awake. Today, so many people beat me swimming. How can you stay in bed? Look at that sun. Look at this water. There are five hot springs wells on this property. Good morning, sunshine. The first hot springs that was built in 1920 was called the INC Hot Springs. And there was a saloon right over the soaking pool. And when they were done partying, they would pull the floor open and soak at the end of the night. Oh my gosh, that sounds so cool. Unfortunately, there was a fire and everything burned down. Prager family's been working diligently since they bought this property in 1997. They've been replacing pipes, adding hotel suites and teepees and soaking tubs attached. Oh, you guys have to just come out here. They're working so hard. It's worth your travels. This place is an oasis in the middle of this high desert. What beautiful landscape.
You're cute. A lot of the rooms come with these private soaking troughs, and if you don't have one, well, they have soaking tubs over by the showers and changing rooms that you can reserve. Look at this view from this tub in my room. I can see the swim bone from your room. Perfect view. Heading out, checking out today. Go for a last swim. Back to the car. Dirk and I don't want to leave. We're thinking about camping down there and staying another night. We're not sure. One of the perks on the property is this Full kitchen. Cuisine. Full kitchen, stove, refrigerator. Everybody's been using it. Oh, it's coming so handy. And there's this kitchen, whole oh, kitchen for you to use. Kept your food in the fridge. This is awesome. They have some cool little teepees. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Eagle's Nest teepee with two full beds and a trough right inside of the teepee. Trough inside. You could soak inside your teepee. So they got camping with fire pits here or they have overflow camping also. This place is... I would come here. Make plans. You should come here. Crane hot Springs. Overflow parking lot, thirty dollars a night. I didn't even know this place existed till a couple days ago. Now it's one of my favorite places. Thinking about staying another night, but there's no rooms at the end, so we have to camp. This is a huge pond up here. This pond looks four times the size of the lower pond. Once again, I'd like to say thank you to all my new subscribers and thanks for the likes. Join me on my next video. While soaking over, heard a woman saying how relaxed she felt. You definitely are going to leave here with the feeling of being relaxed. TP seems popular. It is booked for months. Take whatever room you can and come out here and visit. It is worth it. I have not had enough of this place. I have already booked my return visit to Crane Hot Springs.